Let's do a fun stuffed pepper. I mean, like there's a bunch of different ways you could do it. We've done like the Southwest one before with corn and black bean, but I had a ton of feta at home and I have a little bit of beef. So I was thinking about doing a Greek stuffed pepper with some dill and oregano and feta cheese and garlic and then we'll bake it. And instead of doing like a tomato sauce, once they come out, we'll make a tzatziki and drizzle the tzatziki with crumbled feta on top. And we can even serve it with some pita chips in case like the pepper breaks open and you gotta like scoop it up. Um, but I'm thinking just keeping it simple. Some fresh herbs, rice, feta, roasted garlic, stuffing these bad boys right up. Let's try it out. Let's, let's give it a whirl. Let's um, start with our prep first. Uh, we're gonna small dice an onion so that we can get that browning in the pan. And then we'll add our garlic to it before, and then we'll add our meat to brown our meat. So just a small dice on the onion. Uh, I am using a whole onion because I am doing two packs of uh, ground beef. So it's around two pounds of ground beef. If I was only using one, I would have used one onion. Uh, I mean a half an onion, but I'm using a full onion just because I doubled the recipe. Uh, I'm shooting to fill eight peppers for dinner here. A little bit for dinner, a little bit for lunch the next day. I don't want to be in the kitchen all the time, so if I prep ahead, it makes my life a little easier. Garlic, we're just gonna thin slice it up. You've seen it a million times. Cooking the meat, and I cook the rice separate, um, and then we're gonna add it all in a bowl together. I'm gonna add some fresh dill. If you don't have fresh, you can add dry. Um, and I'm gonna add some fresh parsley. Just gonna give this a really, really good chop. Um, a fine chop is kind of the way I'm gonna go with this. Um, you can use dry herbs if you want, but I really do find that fresh herbs are the best when it comes to, you know, getting that full flavor out of it. Um, you can use, a, I am gonna use a little bit of dry oregano, so let me, let me backtrack there. Um, but I'm gonna add the herbs in only when I mix everything together. When I get the filling, the meat done, the rice in there, the feta, and then I'm gonna add the fresh herbs before we stuff our peppers. Let's talk about the pepper now. You can stuff them two ways. You can split them in half and open them and put them halfway, like in halves and stuff them and fill them that way, which I've done. So you can do them like this as well. You wanna cut the top off, take your knife, go around the inside just to take out the body or the meat is what they call it. Okay. And then you can just pull any of the flesh out. And then I just like to add a little bottom. I don't even open it, but so that they can stand. See? Now I stuff my pepper like this and I sit them in the trays like this. Um, so we're gonna do that to all of them. Like I said, you can cut them in half, scoop them out and do it that way, but I think this looks so much prettier when you're doing a stuffed pepper. Um, also, you can save the, the tops and dice that up for a little bit of salsa if you wanna make. Don't waste anything, you know what I mean? If you don't know what I'm talking about, when you cut the pepper top off, this is there. You can dice it up and use it for something else. Freeze it in a Ziploc till you need it next time. That's a really big thing. Hot pan with a little bit of avocado oil in it. The heat got my eyes. We're adding in our garlic, hear that sizzle! And our onion, and we're gonna get that sauteing really well. The beef I'm using is 80-20. Um, if you want a little fattier meat, you can, but then um, I would suggest you really drain it well because it's gonna end up being kind of greasy. But I think 80-20 is kind of the best fat content. It has nice flavor, but it's not super greasy. Um, we're getting our onions and our garlic nicely caramelized. My beef is over here. Obviously, we're going to be using a meat spoon to break it up. Um, but I just want to say that I use 80-20 ground beef. You can go with a different fat content, but if you go with more fat in your meat because you want more flavor. Just be careful and I would really drain your meat well because um, it's gonna get really greasy. I think the 80-20 is a really nice balance. So once your onions are you know, sweated out, I'm just gonna crumble in our ground beef like this. Like I said, I'm doing two packages, so it's two pounds, um, which should give me eight peppers with the rice. Okay, in this bowl, I just have some cooked white rice um, you could do brown rice if you want. Another thing I was thinking was maybe next time I'm gonna do it with couscous, but I was a little nervous and I had the rice. Now we're just gonna add in our ground beef with our onions and our garlic. So 
Going nice and easy, adding that all in. Using the chest for a little assistance. Giving this a toss. Now all our fresh herbs are dill and um, parsley that we chopped up. Ooh, coming to get it nicely. I am going to add salt and pepper. And we gotta get our feta. Now you want a paper towel dry your feta so it's not real wet because we don't want the mixture to get soggy. Season salt and pepper. Let me go get our feta. Keep tossing this. It smells so good. Okay, so I bought the feta like this in the block. It's in the brine. I love it. So we're just gonna take one of these. Rumble it up. Now I'm doing it while it's still warm because I really want it to incorporate completely through it. Um, and it's one of, I'm even gonna use that last piece that was one it broke. And kind of just use your hands to crumble it up and then we'll stir it. It's gonna get a little creamier and add that like nice creamy texture to it. And pretty much we're gonna taste it. The last thing I do is I add in two eggs to help bind it. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. I don't wanna put breadcrumbs or any kind of filler in this. So the eggs just kind of help bind it. Let's crack those on in. Mixing this whole thing up together. Stuffing up, stuffing our peppers. Stuffing our peppers. You know what? I'm gonna give it a good toss with my hand so the egg gets incorporated and the feta as well. I'm gonna use one of these dishes for the um, stuffed peppers. So they're all been cleaned. What I'm gonna do is though, I'm gonna put a little bit of the avocado oil on the bottom and then I'm gonna already get my peppers situated in here so that perfect it's going to make filling so much easier so then i'm going to put these so nothing bubbles over on this sheet pan that's lined with foil because we don't want a mess so like this now these are ready let's do our filling give you guys just a good look see how it all came together the feta the dill the parsley uh, garlic onions the ground beef some salt and pepper, a little bit of dry oregano. And now we fill our peppers, taking a spoon, stuffing them in. And I do use, when I do put it in, I use the back of the spoon to push it down. I wanna make these nice and tight, really packed. Really packed, so push it on down, don't be scared. And don't worry, it's gonna come off on the top. And we're gonna drizzle a little bit of oil, but it'll be ready to go. This is gonna be awesome. All my peppers are stuffed, just taking a little bit of oil on top. A bit of black pepper. These are gonna go in the oven for 45 minutes, covered. And then we'll take them out, take the foil off. We just get a little color on them. We're gonna do a dome lid, just like we did with um, our pork the other day. 45 minutes. See you then. Our peppers came out, so I just put on a plate with a little bit of spinach and I'm pouring my tzatziki over it. And now you can eat it two ways. I feel like you can cut this puppy open or you can kind of go in, you know what I mean? Like go in and grab a bite. It's so good. So I'm gonna chop up a fresh tomato and put a little feta so I have like a little salad with my stuffed pepper. So good. Totally different take on stuffed pepper, but great option for dinner tonight. Oh, look at that tzatziki. Enjoy.